Hello guys, Omni here. Earlier this morning, we got a full official trailer for the Lion King remake, the quote unquote live action take on the Lion King. And you know, when it all comes down to it, this is still like just a really well animated film. Very realistically animated film. That's, that's my argument on it. And I know this is like actually a topic of discussion out there in the interwebs, but, uh, yeah, I mean, from what we saw in the teaser, this the visuals it looks stunning for this film. Uh, there's the blend of the you know the live settings uh, with the CGI animated creatures of the African plains that we get to see, um, uh, almost shot for shot, like mirroring some of the moments from the film. And you know, I I think this is going to Unlike Dumbo, which is not performing that great right now, this I think we're going to see a completely opposite spin with this, much like we did with Beauty and the Beast, where um, a lot of people turned out for that Beauty and the Beast, but I think even more people are going to turn out for this, if not only for the cast, but because this movie didn't, the original didn't come out that long ago, and this is just about back in the early 90s, and a lot of people that are still around today, this is something that's still kind of fresh, and a lot of our you know, um, the movie going demographic that these movies kind of go towards are in this range. They, this movie came out well within the prime market for the people that would want to go see this movie. I'm one too. I'm, I'm one of these people as well. I, the, the, the first Lion King was one of the first films I ever saw in a movie theater. And I, I, am more excited for this than I have been for any of the other ones that they've released. Um, I'm still a little iffy on the Aladdin one. It seems like every new trailer kind of has me tipping to one side or the other. This last trailer they released for it has me a little, has me perked up a little bit to go see it. But I, I, I am most, almost definitely seeing Lion King. And I can't wait to see this as well and see how the full trailer looks for this. This would be our first full trailer for the Lion King and I am a little little excited so let's go check it out life's not fair is it my little friend while some are born to feast look how good this animation is their lives in the dark ooh scar looks like one messed up cat Begging for scraps. Ooh. Dude. This is beautiful. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. Look how lifelike this all looks. While others search for what they can take, a true king searches for what he can give. Uh, got that James Earl Jones. Run away, Simba, and never return. Dude, look at that Rafiki. Oh, dude. This is going to be a shot for shot, isn't it? You must take your place. Dude, yes. I could care less if it is. The marvel of pulling this off. See, look at this cast. Oh my lord. Oh my god. All right. You know, even... Okay, from what we saw in this trailer, at least, is a lot of very recognizable scenes from the animated film itself. I know there's supposed to be some new bits in this. They did say there's going to be some things that are fresh to this film. Uh, I, but I can't imagine there being a lot that is. Um, we, got to, we got to see a lot of iconic scenes in this, recreated in this beautiful beautiful rendering of these realistic live action creatures. Now, I will still say this is just really well animated. 
I'm not going to spark that debate. Um, we might end up having that in the in the uh, comments down below, but um, it looks gorgeous. I could honestly, just looking at this, I could care less if it's a shot for shot remake because just the marvel of them pulling off like photorealism this well is just enough for me to be like, okay, I'll, I, you got me movie. I will watch all of this that you're handing me again, even though I've seen it beat for beat before just to see it in this way. I, it's such, um, I think it's such a marvel how well and realistic and how little of the uncanny valley effect is in these shots because no matter what with cgi creatures or people or anything like that things that we recognize in the real world when it's not real we can usually tell and you can tell but it it, it it's almost to a point where it is completely full in your brain one thing too um another film that was doing something kind of like this it not on, not nearly on this technical technical level uh but the the Mowgli movie that was on netflix where they they did the the talking animals and all the stuff in that however the the difference between this and that is in Mowgli, they humanized the 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 facial features of a lot of the animals gave them more human-like muscle um, muscle function in their faces and their eyes and the way they express themselves. You, you, they, it went beyond just like a, uh, a, a realistic photo real uh, version of a real world animal to being something that looks very much like that animal, but like it's got the ability to emote like a human. Um, you don't have that in this. These are in essence, the real animal like they're talking but like there there's no unnatural movement of their mouths there's no unnatural movement of their eyes there's there is just the animal and the voices coming out of them as you see with scar like he he's you see his mouth talking but like it's not moving in an unnatural manner and i find that fascinating as well because the past couple of movies i've done something similar to this with realistic animals uh, being CGI have kind of blurred that line between animal and human with the actors, with the mocap and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how that incorporates differently between this. Are these purely animated or is somebody mocapping? I'm honestly not sure. I haven't looked into the behind the scenes for this film, uh, like how they're putting it together as closely. Um, I would imagine there's probably some level of mocap, at least for to match the mouth movements, because there's no facial animations being matched otherwise. But I'm excited. I, I, I like how Scar looks. I like how everybody looks. Uh, we only heard really four key voices in this. We heard Scar, we heard Mufasa, and if you count it, we heard Timon and Puma at the end. Uh, we still haven't heard our main lead, Simba, Donald Glover, or uh, Beyonce as Nala, uh, or john oliver or really anybody else um so i'm really curious to see how everybody sounds i'm sure we're definitely going to be getting another trailer before this movie hits theaters in july uh and i'm sure we'll, we'll probably get more um more of the cast shown off in that that's my best guess but i i got some good vibes from this i i'm 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 looking forward to it like i said i i'm probably going to see this if anything for the feet of pulling off these effects and reliving uh, one of my favorite Disney tales that I definitely grew up with uh, and enjoyed so much. Like I, I'm ready to dive into that ride. Um, like out of all the remakes they've made, the two that stand out the most to me personally are have been Beauty and the Beast and now The Lion King. Those were my favorite growing up, and uh, those have been one of the, well, I wasn't completely sold on Beauty and the Beast even after seeing it. I liked the Jungle Book movie a lot, uh, comparatively, and the Jungle Book animated film is not one of my favorite Disney animated films. I like it, for sure, but uh, I think the live action one, like, Made, it buffed up at the story a little bit and made me enjoy it even much more than I really expected myself to. 
And plus, the, the kid that played Mowgli in that was just spot on. Loved it. Great performance. Um, but I'm ready. I, uh, we'll, we'll see how Aladdin goes, but uh, we'll, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. And I, I, have some, I have some solid confidence in this film. Uh, mostly because the entire creative team behind this, uh, this Disney remake is solid, both on screen, in the recording booth, in the director's chair, the writer's chair, all those, all the people working on this film are, are some great talents. So I, I have a lot of high faith for this to actually do well and deliver, but we'll see. I could be completely wrong and we could be surprised with this being a really crappy movie or just a really stale, boring retelling of a such a solid, amazing story. And we'll just have to see. But like I said, I, I think it'll be a winner. Even even if it's not, it's going to make a buttload of money regardless. And uh, yeah, so I want to pass this off to you guys. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Take care.